But that's one of the great things about chess. Chess is one of the only things in the world where age and background don't matter. Like you can be 15, you could be, you know, 10, you could be like, you could be really rich. You could also be someone like, you know, from the streets of Baltimore or something like it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, it's just like, that's, that's the great thing about chess. You shouldn't hold the glue. You should. Oh my God. I just allowed F six. Oh, good God. What was that? Ah, I just got so careless. I'm still up on the clock though. Is there anything I can do to keep the game going? Do I, you know what? Let's, let's risk it. This is obviously bad, but let's risk it. What on earth was, what on earth was F? was h3 i'm just gonna gamble here because I, I feel like gambling just for you guys in chat normally i would not play like this but for you guys i'm gonna gamble here it's knight f5 which i actually don't think is a great move um shoot but maybe i'm just lost okay i, I gotta move i gotta move trust yourself and just move like the wind Here. Let's find something. Let's go here and rook f1, maybe. It's actually a good idea. He's, I think I'm going to win this game on time. Yeah, I'm going to win this game on time. There's just no way. He just doesn't have the time. Thank you to Abaddon for the gift of sub. Thank you to Warhammers as well. Thank you so much. Let's do this again. Clock Bandit, yes. I am the Clock Bandit. Okay, I can play Bishop B4 and Bishop F8, maybe. Okay, I think I'm going to go Knight B6, just Bishop G6, Bishop G7. Let's drop back. I'm gonna go here, maybe rook d8, put pressure on the center here. Is the clock worth nine points? No, it's not worth nine. I think I think actually the problem there was that um was that he he actually couldn't believe that he was winning, and so he just panicked. He, he just he couldn't actually believe his fortune. In a way that he was winning the position, he just panicked and, and started moving way too slowly. That was that was actually the reason he lost the game. Okay, I'm gonna go f5 here. He just panicked. He's just like, I can't possibly be up a piece and winning. And he's just like, and then he just like, then he, then he loses it completely. Will Elham get a draw before? I mean, I'm playing to 32. So if we play to 32, that's what, 11? If it's plus three, we're looking at what, like five more games roughly? And he's trying to get cheeky and win material, but I do have C5 here. This just looks very, this looks very happy times for me. This is happy times. Wait, actually, wait, I also have H6, I just realized. Do I play H6 or not? No, okay, I just take. What am I? Oh, because takes, I can take. Whoa, what's going on? Takes, 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 takes. Okay, I guess I... I can take with a pawn. I don't know if it's right. Let's reroute the bishop here, back, at, back around. Maybe I take with the queen. I have three. Okay, let's go here. Tickle the rook. Then, we'll, then now, now my bishop is really good on c3. Oh, he's got h4 though, which I forgot about. Don't want to play f6. I don't want to play h5, but I might, might have to play h5. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Let's just go here in h6, I guess. Still doing well on the clock. Position seems relatively good. 
King G7 was actually the right move, I think. But anyway. He goes Queen F4. Interesting move. I think I'm going to go E5, E4, though, and just attack. Probably E3 next move. Do I play E3 first, or do I play... Um, do I play E3 first, or do I trade first? I think I trade first. Let's trade and go E3. Because F4, I have E2, Queen C5, Queen F2, which wins. If he takes, I take... I think you have Vermillion Kofa for the prime thing. He goes Bishop D5. That's a reasonable move. I have E2. I also have F4. I think F4 has got to be right because now I open up the double ops. Because th this op was kind of bad. But now they're both open. And now I think I'm doing really, really well. Takes that way. Okay, so I can take G3. I can also just play Rook takes E3, I think. These double ops are... Oh, does this actually work for him? Maybe it does. Okay, let's go... Let's go here maybe to hit the knight I have queen c5 check I mean this looks very scary for white also this 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 oh uh, that's should just be losing I think Bishop d3 yeah, I think I go check, because I have check. Here I have check, check, and it's mate. I need a will H for the tier 1 Vermillion Koala. Thank you so much, check and mate. will play here let's just uh yeah i gave him e5 which was pretty careless of me hmm probably okay still but i don't love my position okay rookie eight's kind of a slightly dubious move i think maybe not actually maybe i'll just hmm, i don't want to drop back i guess i'll just develop here if he wants to play e4 i'll go queen e2 i'm not too concerned maybe i should be concerned but i figure i have enough play on the queen side drop back I'll just drop back. If E3, I just take. Queen D6, I go Knight F1, I guess. Should be okay for me. Seems pretty reasonable. Let's go here. Again, not E3, because then he would attack if I were to capture. Okay, so I can probably just take if I want. I don't love it. I don't hate it either, though. I think I'm just going to take and go here. Good Knight blocks upon G3, D5. Seems pretty reasonable for me. I'm going to play A4 here. Need a Philly Knox for seven months. Need a Philly Knox. Appreciate it. Thank you. Plays that. I mean, I guess his idea is to play. Okay, he has some ideas here, so I do have to be a little bit careful with how I play this. I think I'm just going to keep going, though. Plays Queen G5. Kind of a strange move. Um, what's his idea? I'm going to go Rookie 1. I'm a little confused. I don't know what his idea is exactly with Queen G5. Okay, he goes knight d5. So I kind of, I think I'm happy to see this. Maybe I'm happy. Maybe I'm not happy because it's going to get very sharp now. Queen b5 to hit the pawn. E7. I do have h4 maybe to lever. Yeah, I think h4 levers. Yeah, I go h4 takes knight d5. And I'm actually doing very well here, I think. Let's take. Still a little bit, eh, it's still a little bit dicey though. It's got f5. Yeah, this is actually a quite dicey. So I have to be very careful how I play this now. Good g3, maybe knight g2. Stop the pawn pushes here. He is playing better though today. He's he's playing well. So I guess it's not surprising. It's, okay, but he was playing well. As soon as I say that, I thought I think he just blundered. E4, A6. Okay, let's go A6 here. 
Oh, but he's, it still doesn't work because he has rook d5. What am I doing? Okay, let's just go rook d1. Let's go back. My whole idea was based on rook e4, so I used way too much time there. Okay, let's just um, let's go here, try to trade some queens. Probably go back. I'll play f3 to chip. Maybe takes. I should be very happy. Okay, I, I assume I'm very happy to reach this end game. Because now he's no longer he no longer has chances to really win, I don't think. Okay, I'm gonna go f4. Takes I take. If he goes back, I get a great blockade. So I think he has to kind of. I think he has to take. If he doesn't take, I go knight e3. So I'll go here. It's a good pre-move, and if not, I'll play knight e3. Okay, he does, okay. Let's go here, maybe knight f4. D5. Okay, rookie one makes sense. G5 is actually a very good move by him. I'll draw my king back. I want knight e3 or knight h4. If he pushes, then he gets hit this way. If he pushes to cover this square, that's why two squares are open here. I think I'm going to win again now. I think it's Z free for the six months. I think it's bearded slam for the two dollar dame. I need a dollar dame for the uh, seven. Thank you so much. Plays h4. 93 is a move. He's got g4, which is logical. But I have king g3, and I just blockade. I think he missed king g3, because now I think he's just loot. Now I go 93, and I think he's just lost. I think rookie five is ggs how many matches will he play i don't know i'm not sure i think rookie five is winning but i have to be careful king h5 i mean this must be winning it's yeah it's just winning what does that do? Does nothing. Go B5, Knight B6, of course. Oh, he plays A4. Okay, let's just, um, let's just take and go here. Okay, I think I'll just go Knight D5, hit the Bishop on E3. And Queen B6, hit the Pawn on B2, Knight B4 is next move. Queen B3, just Rook B8, of course. If c5 is queen b7. Although this is actually pretty ugly for me now that I look at it. It's actually quite ugly. Might just be uh, this might just be losing for me somehow. Shoot. Wait, what did I just do? Uh, I think I have to go here. This is actually quite bad for me. Do I use Brave? Yes, I do use Brave. I'm using Brave right now, you guys. Um, see, I'm using Brave. There you guys go. And there you go. Okay, I'm lucky he played that, which is not the best move. I have way too many of these browsers open, though. Close them all. I think now, though, is I can just take and go rook d2. And I think now, now the danger is gone. I don't know if I'm going to win, but the danger of, uh, of losing is 100% is gone. Okay, I have to take this. Well, I don't want to, but after take c5, c6, I'm in really bad shape. 
I think I'm going to win, though, because he's got double pawns. He's got a weak C4 pawn. He's down more than Uno Minutos on the clock. And, I mean, I just I expect myself to win. I'll be disappointed in myself if I can't win this. Okay, that's actually a move that makes me kind of happy. Or does it? No, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> okay, they're okay. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, okay, I got lucky that game. I need to play better. I need to add Gina for the nine. Um, okay, so four to go, you guys. Four more. Four, four mas. Cuatro mas. Okay, it does play e5 here, but I feel like this is a little bit different because I get rook d1 and bishop e3. So it's a little bit different here. I said cuatro mas. That's a that's a Spa Spaniel. That's Spanish. Um, let's play bishop e3 here. I mean, I, I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play a long-term end game with with the two two Bs um, against the knight and the bishop. He's got knight, two knights and a bishop. I have two Bs and a knight, so my, I'm gonna trust that my two Bs will rule the day. Okay, c5 is logical. I don't love it though because I go c3 and I take I take with the queen. I think it's right because c4 just bishop c2 is good and you're, you guys are going to see the long-term power of the two b's in this game unless i just wonder which could happen okay bishop g5 is a strong move i think yes you guys i, I do speak span um italian i do speak some i mean i understand spanish but i don't speak it again great op on this diagonal and if he pushes the pawn like I think I have queen f4 maybe. I can also take and play knight e4. But let's just be very low key chill and just slowly play the game. Let's go rook e1. I mean, I have f4 ideas also potentially. So we might have to play c4. We'll see. I only speak American. No, I speak other language. Oh, uh, wait. Did he just wait? Wait, he's got problems suddenly. Wait, what's wait? He blundered, but he might be lucky and might not be losing. But I think this is losing. Looks losing to me at least. Just check, I take and I go here. No H forks, I take. He takes, I take, and I mean that should be winning. He does have C four though. I just realized. Uh, but so I didn't see C4, but C4 is a very explosive move. But I think I'm still okay with Bishop A4. I'm still okay. Yeah, he sees it, so I go. Let's be very careful here, though. Let's go here. Hablas español. Uh, I understand. I understand Spanish pretty well, but I don't. I don't really speak it. Let's take. Plays queen e5. Now, I understand the point behind queen e5, but I don't think it's actually a great move here. Because I think technically I should be winning. Let's take. Let's go here. Knight e4. I think technically this should be winning for me if I play this correctly. So I can probably blockade stuff. Okay, that's a bad move, I think. Um, I think I go here. Being very precise not to give him a b5 move. If I'm very precise here... And now, now I, oh shoot, I blundered h4. Oh my God, how did I do that? Okay, now this is gonna be very hard. Oh no, this is gonna be extremely tricky to win. So stupid. It was insanely stupid by me. Unbelievably bad. My knight is actually stuck. That was unbelievably bad by me. Okay, now he plays this, which I think is slightly wrong. Bishop a4, I have f3. f3 or f4, but I think I go here knight f2. I think I'm gonna I think I'm still on the brink of winning just because the bishop is so good and his king has to waste time. 
If I get the knight in, I think... Yeah, now I should be winning, I think, technically. Because I have knight g5. Yes, now I should be winning. <sighs> Tough game. I let him get h4, and he probably had a way to way to survive there. Let's take. Be, still be very careful. Knight. Okay, let's think. Bishop b3, a4 takes. I mean, I can probably flag him, but there's no guarantee that I can. Um... Five knight. Let's do this. Check. Did I just blunder again? I might have just blundered. Shoot. I think I just blundered. This, this must be winning, right? Okay, we win. Close game. Yikes. Is there a cl free work on C2? Did he hang a rook maybe? Maybe he did. I don't know. Oh, is there a free rook on C2 that I missed? I hope not. Okay, I think H5 is still correct. Maybe I should have played queen d5 first. Let's go a5, a4, just all in attack. Let's just keep going. I want to go queen d5 and attack this way. I'll pre-move it because it's a safe pre-move. I'm 600 ELO in singing. Yes, I never claim to be uh, I never claim to be Pavarotti or, 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 or whatever whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's just go... Um, I think I'm going to drop my queen back so I have this very nasty trick with mate. I think he has to take now. And that 600 lead chess? <laughs> Where is Ali Reza been? I think he's working for Magnus or Jan. I, I said it before, but I, I am pretty confident in saying that. I, I think Ali Rez is doing something for one of the one of the players who's playing in the uh, World Championship match. Except for Abba songs, you're easily one thousand. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, I think I just keep lining it up. I'm just gonna line up the classic double stack. It's cool how they respect a teen teenager enough for that. Wait, enough for what? Sorry. Let's just go. Um, let's just go here. This looks really bad for white. I mean, that's a great. I, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, but oh, sorry. You mean Ali Reza? I thought you meant uh, Elham. Sorry, I was getting confused. Um, yeah, I mean he's he's an amazing. I mean Ali Reza is obviously you know potentially world championship uh, world championship material down the road. So it's not really that surprising to me. Um, but that's one of the great things about chess. Chess is one of the only things in the world where age and background don't matter. Like, you can be 15, you could be, you know, 10, you could be like, you could be really rich. You could also be someone like, you know, from the streets of Baltimore or something. Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, it's just like, that's that's the great thing about chess. I'm gonna play B4 here. I don't know if it's right. Ah, what am I doing? I just hung something. Maybe I have this, though. It's still tricky. Okay, takes, I take. He could have taken the pawn. He was winning. Okay, now I should be winning somehow. Do I go knight c3, rook a5, queen c6? I think I'm going to go here. I 
And I think I'm gonna come back maybe to a8 so he doesn't have this at the end. Yeah, I think I come back here so he doesn't have a queen e8 at the end. And now I'm gonna get to Castle Mania on the seventh rank with the two rooks. Let's keep going two away two away from the magic th three two again Stop being racist Baltimore is great. I didn't say anything. I, I mean, I'm just saying any, I, I mean come on We all love the wire. It's a great show I've been to Baltimore of course I've been to Baltimore Jeez, I mean do we live in a world where you can't say anything? I mean I, I, I say I say I say that I think a city's not great and everyone's like, oh that's racist. You can't say that. <sighs> Let's go here. Speak 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 carefully with liberals, bro. <laughs> Take with a knight. Let's go bishop e2 maybe. I don't have a great position this game, weirdly. I've misplayed this. I think I'll just play an end game. Oh, no, why did I, oh, what am I doing? Now, now I'm just playing this badly. So I'll go here. I might have just made a huge blunder, actually. Wait, no, I'm knight c4. I have to be very careful. I'm getting way too loose, loosey goosey suddenly. Um,. Go here and guard, I guess. Getting way too loosey goosey out of nowhere. This will go knight b3, maybe. I have to be very careful. This actually is very bad for me, potentially. Okay, castles queenside, which makes me, makes me extremely happy. Because now after bishop g5, I think, I, I think the danger is past. I'm just going to castle and be slightly better. Although he does have e5 here, I just realized. I'm lucky. I, I mean, I'm very lucky I have knight f3. And bishop e3 or something. Not smart at all. Okay, I have to go back. It's actually kind of potentially very dangerous for me. Not played this game while I've been too busy talking. Okay, let's castle and go king b1, I guess. I still think I'm in good shape to win, but have not played this well. Here's rookie eight. Of course, I take. Let's get the king out of the danger zone. Queen h5 at the same moment. He probably has to go knight d3. He plays king b8. Not b4. I can play knight e3. I also have queen h5. Maybe just rook. No, not rook d2. Okay, let's go. Let's go like here. If I keep the time advantage on the clock, I should still win this game. Oh, 20 seconds. Not an easy position. Black should be better somehow, but knight d3 allows f3 to undermine the pawn. Thought I had f4 here, but I think I'm gonna go. Um, does King is something threaten anything? Not really. Okay, I can play knight b3. I think I'll do it. Probably I'm gonna try to put my other knight on d4. Although I feel like um, Elham is kind of misplaying this. He's letting me get get like all the pressure is leaving the building here. Because with only one rook, this knight is not really that powerful anymore. And if I get f3, what's his move? Because now he's just undermined, and he can't even support because he loses a juicer. He goes knight c5. I can trade knights, but I'm just going to take instead. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Oopsie daisies. Not ideal. No, we're not there yet, you guys. We still have to win one more game. We, we, we It ain't over till the fat lady sings. So we're not there yet. We have to win another game. It's not over, you guys. Not over.
How to offend Hikaru? Name a, name a city, ask who's been there, and then not believe him. True, true story. I don't know if Queen C7 is good. Okay, let's go here. I mean, I always have C5 here at the right moment. Um, Let's just go C5. I think I'll take and take and take. Thank you to Kale for the 12 months. Thank you to Husky Potter for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, so I've gotten the position that I want, but it's not ideal, actually. Let's go here. This pawn is very bad. I need to get my rook to better square here. If he wants to play another end game. I mean, I think I'm going to win an end, win most end games against him. So I assume I'm happy in general to get end games. Let's go here. Maybe knight c5, knight e4. Got to guard the pawn. Okay, it goes knight e5. That's a logical move. I don't love it, though, because I think I can play f6 here. And I can just take and bounce back. Maybe don't 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 swerve me for the two months. Thank you so much. Okay, now I think I'm in very good shape. Let's go here. Knight d3 is coming. Maybe king e2, but then knight a4 is also problematic for black. Yeah, e5 because I have knight e3, I think. I don't know if I want to play g5, but I, it makes some sense. So I'm just going to play g5, knight d3, knight f4. Oh, he's, oh, he's got this. Yikes. I missed that. Okay, I guess I go here in knight e6 probably. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Actually, I, I have to stop c5. So let's go rook c8. Go h5, probably h4. Maybe f5 at the right moment. If I get this grip on the dark squares, I think I'm doing well. I'm gonna play h4, not not to worry about a5, I just take. So this f4 grip is really strong. A5, I take, of course. I have rook b8, rook b3. So knight c8, c okay, takes. So I can play a4 to split the pawn to the outside. I think a4 is right, so I have rook a8 probably. And now I'm gonna take the pawn next move when he moves the bishop. Let's go here, king c6. Two, that's a good move. I can play knight f4, I suppose, knight d4. Actually, it looks pretty clean. Should just be very good for me. Okay, so let's see. Okay, he's already misplayed this. Now this e-pawn is very fast. His king is on the wrong side. This should actually already be close to winning for me if I play this correctly. Let's go... Wait, let's go here. I mean, I think king d2... Is, king d2 takes e3 here, e2. Yeah. Let's go here, because e3, e2, e1 is just GG's pretty much. go e3 e2 g a g he's obviously way too slow here king's not even his king's not even getting out he just resigns 32 at one perfect mundo perfect mundo <laughs>